back to cooking at Pam's place. We are getting ready to make the most amazing loaf of bread. And the magic in this bread is there's no kneading, no yeast, no rise time, and no mixer. How cool is that? You're gonna make this bread and you don't need to do any of the traditional things and it is simply amazing. But before we get started, if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out today here with me in my kitchen. I really do appreciate it. For those of you all who are returning, thank you so much for coming yet once again. Channel members, thank you so much for your loyal, faithful support. We need to go ahead and get started, but first, we need to preheat our oven. So come with me, I'll show you what to do. Our oven is preheating. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, before we get started with our flour, a lot of people have been saying to me that they can't see me in the frame of their phone device or the device that they are using. There is a small square, should be down at the lower right hand corner of your device. If you would just simply tap that little square, my whole being, <laughs> the whole video will populate full screen on your device and you should be able to see everything. So let's get our flour sifted. Now I will have all the ingredients, direct measurements and everything down in the description so that you can make this bread at home in your kitchen too. I'm going to get all this flour sifted and we'll be right back. Okay, we have our flour sifted. We're going to set that aside and we're going to prepare our loaf pan. You don't have a loaf pan, you can use another shape pan, square pan, whatever pan you want, but it probably won't rise and look like that loaf of bread that we're looking for. Okay, so you wanna just take it and lightly spray it. Then you wanna grab a piece of parchment paper and you wanna put it in there, turn it this way so you guys can see, this way, the long way, so that it fits down in there, but the edges stick over. You want the edges to stick over because those are technically your handles so that you can easily get it out. Then go in again and lightly spray. Just a tad bit, you don't need much, set that aside. For those of you all who have been hanging around for a while, you know I love everything bagel seasoning. So we're gonna be putting this on top. As you can see, it's all kind of different seeds and seasonings. So we need to go ahead and get these toasted. So let's head to the stove. Okay, so in order to toast these, you just wanna kinda of move them around in your skillet a little bit for maybe about 30 seconds, no more than a minute because they'll toast quick on medium high heat. Once your sesame seeds or your all bagel seasoning is toasted, you can set that aside. You do not have to use this. This is strictly optional. Or you can put any kind of nuts or toppings on it that you want to put on yours. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, we've sifted our flour, make sure we don't have any really lumps in there. That's the reason why we sifted it. Now we're gonna add in some baking powder, salt, and sugar. Give that a stir. Another thing that I love about this bread is it freezes well. You can freeze it up to six months. So if you want to make a couple of loaves at one time and freeze one, really delicious coming out of the freezer just as well. So go ahead and combine your dry ingredients really well. Then we're gonna add in our wet ingredients. Going in first with our oil. And our milk. Make sure your milk is at room temperature. So either set it out or maybe stick it in the microwave for a couple of seconds if you forget to set it out in time. Now we're going to blend this until it's nice and combined into a dough, but we don't want to over mix it. Now we're gonna go ahead and pour it in our prepared pan. And it should be pretty thick. 
just like this. Once you have it completely out of the bowl, then you wanna go in and make it as even as possible. If you don't make it as even as possible, you're going to have, it's gonna come out uneven. It'll still be in a loaf of bread, it'll still be delicious, but it won't be uh, as evenly, the look of it won't be as evenly. So I'm gonna even this out and we'll be right back. Okay, so this is about as even as I can get it. Now we want to go in with the top of your sesame seeds or everything bagel seasoning if you were using it and sprinkle that right on top. Okay, we are now going into a 425 degree oven for approximately 30 minutes. That's halfway through. And at the halfway mark, we need to go in and make a couple of changes. So hang in there with me, put this in the oven, and we'll be back. Okay, so we are at the halfway mark. At this point, you want to turn your oven down to 375 degrees. We're at the halfway mark here, and we're gonna cover it with foil. Let it cook for another 30 minutes. We are all done and out of the oven. It is still hot. I haven't taken it out of the container yet. We always, always, always want to do a test. This is thick, so we have a skewer instead of a toothpick. Just stick it right down in the middle. It came out clean, so that means we are absolutely done. That's what we want. This is still hot, but I want you guys to see up close. That's my butter for my taste test. Ah, look at that. Doesn't this look amazing? Isn't that wonderful? And it smells delicious. So we're gonna take it out of this pan. I can set this aside. And we're gonna get a slice. So as we had our handles, we can just lift it right up. Okay, see the smoke coming out? It's still hot. Ooh, don't pick that up with your hands. <laughs> oh, this is looking amazingly delicious. Ooh, it is still really hot. I'm going to let this cool just a couple of seconds before we cut into it, and we'll be right back. Okay, I think we have cooled enough for me to pick this up. I want you all to see the bottom of it. Ah, oh, look at that. Isn't that wonderful, nice and golden brown? I'm gonna move it off this parchment paper and we're gonna take a slice. This smells so good. So, so delicious. I'm gonna cut the end off then I'm gonna cut an actual slice so that you all can actually see that. Oh my goodness. And again, if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today here in my kitchen. If you are returning, thank you so much. And channel members, thank you. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This smells delicious. Oh, look at that. Look at the crumb, guys. Look at that. That is amazing. No kneading, no yeast. No rise time, no mixer. Come on now. Yes. Ooh, ooh, it's too hot. You know what? I'm gonna take a piece off of this, put me a little butter on it so we can do a taste test. How about that? Cause that is still too hot. I don't know if you all can see the steam. That is still too hot for me to be trying to cut. Yes, got my butter right here and a piece. Oh my goodness, this is so delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. It's soft, has the right amount of chew to it. And with that butter on it, hot buttered bread, y'all, you better make some. Mm, mm, mm. This is delicious. Oh my goodness. 
and I will see you all next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Bye-bye.